Okay. <clears throat> we are back to the Diz Summer Reviews after a little Christmas break. I'll be doing more Christmas movies along the way as well. So we are talking about everybody, which tells the story of a boy named Josh who just moved to a new town. He's in a new school, and he happens to run into a dog, which he adopts and calls Buddy. Uh, and Josh wants to be a basketball player, and he's okay when it counts, I guess. And then they find out the dog can also play basketball, and hence they made a bunch of other movies about the dog playing sports. And then the spin-off movie with the buddies, which I don't care about. I don't really, I, was, I don't really actually care about the sequels either. I have never seen any of them. This is the one I've watched continuously. Um, it's the only one that I, it's the only one that I own. So, yeah. Um, so yeah, uh, this, the, the, there's more to the story than that, but there's a clown played by Mr. Needles from Sesame Street. And, uh, and, or Mr. Needle, whatever. And he's a birthday clown. And the dog messes up, so he's going to get rid of the dog. First of all, he didn't, he, he's got this pickup truck. which he puts the dog in the cage and puts it in the back. But he doesn't close the back of his pickup truck. And thus the dog falls out the back and nearly gets run over by Josh and his mom. And the dog escapes and Josh finds the dog later. Now, it's not until the dog starts to gain some fame that Mr. Needle, Mr. Needle is just like, oh, hey, I want this dog back because it can do stuff. Even though I was ready to give it to the pound before. And so he takes the dog back, but Josh steals the dog back only to then put him on some island, but the dog somehow swims back just in time for the bigger game so he can play the basketball game and win. Mr. Mr. Needle shows up at the game, and uh, at first, the way he's looking, you think he's, he's going to have a change of heart, but as soon as the game's over, he's like, okay, I'll take my dog back now. I'm like, really? I feel like there is some conflicting here. Like, the whole game, when he sees the end of the game, he's like, like he's realizing that the dog belongs with the kid, only to then say, no, I want the dog back. I think maybe you should have, uh, maybe the director should have told the actor not to look so sympathetic. Because that's, it's a total flip-flop otherwise. Because on a look on his face, it looks like he's going to tell the kid he can keep the dog. But no, they end up going to court. He shows up just as a clown. And <clears throat> yeah, they have... This whole thing, oh, well, Buddy has to choose him. And it, oh, no, it looks like Buddy is going to choose the clown. But then, no, he just attacks him because he was doing this with our old newspaper, which he used to abuse the dog with, and the dog was getting revenge. He chose the kid, so, yeah. Happy ending, I guess. And then we got more films afterwards. Look, this is a good movie, man. But there are a few little things. Why? I mean, they gloss over it, but how can a dog play basketball? Uh, how? Excuse me. I was eating cookies. How can a dog, not physically, like, you sh so you see, not, see how you can play it, but why would they let a dog play basketball for a school? Yes, they, they show that this new guy was the janitor, this new coach. And then there's a member from the team who uh, switches because he's pulled off the bench. So he's the, the guy, the, the guy, the kid's dad moves all the way to Ozark or whatever for them to, moves all the way to another town so he can play for the Warriors. That's a little much. But, yes, and that kid in the end ends up showing some respect. He could have had a handshake. That kid is played by Brendan Fletcher, by the way. He was in Freddy vs. Jason and the horrible The Burgon Origins. Kevin Sagers plays Josh, our hero of the film. This is a heartwarming Disney film that will is good to show your kids. 
I think it works very well. There's not really much I can say about it. It's it's a good watch. I would recommend it. I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. It's enjoyable. And, yeah, just a few little things bug it down for being perfect. But what do I know? So what are your thoughts on AirBud? Yes, this is a short one. But let me know in the comments below. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching. I've been Scotty. See you in the next one. Not a lot of stuff to say about the good movies.